is it's your boy Chili and I'm officially out here at Mesquite to check out future Oregon Duck Ty Thompson, five-star quarterback. I remember watching him play as a sophomore leading the comeback versus Arcadia. I remember watching him play at Gilbert in a completely shredding a team, a division above them. Now here I am watching him play as a senior versus a tough ALA Queen Creek team led by Logan Hugler, a quarterback, and Ryan Meza, the standout corner slash uh, wide receiver, and then Micah Barron, the super tough defensive end. But Mesquite, they got some ballers. My man Eric Lear made the move, and uh, don't forget Andrew Morris, super talented linebacker. Hey, this is going to be exciting. Your boy Chili, I'll be right back. Two hours later. Judge Aaron Huckley, head linesman David Roberts. We're starting to make it. Y'all know what it is. Tonight's captain, tonight's captain is number 13, Ty Thompson. Y'all know what it is. Hey, big problems tonight, my man Ty Thompson, five-star Ty Thompson. Don't get it twisted. Logan Hubler is a dude. I know he don't know about him, but he might be king of the game tonight. <laughs> I think there was some laundry on the field, but I think that's the warning shot. <laughs> it is the warning shot. You know, it's good to be on the sidelines with the one and only Chili. We're here watching Mesquite and ALA Queen Creek, 3A champion against the 4A champion. My man Trey Mosher with the Superman jump into the end zone. Man, Come on, that, that was hot. Game, hey, it's early start. Man. Hey, you know the vibes. Last <laughs> week a running back got it too. So people don't remember that, like when you're going through all this stuff, that you were once an AD and you understand like how this stuff works from the inside. What were those years like as an AD? No, it was awesome. We had some great kids at Mountain View. We had some great years, uh, a lot of fun, great coaches, uh, great families. It, it was a great time. Early in the season right now, we're, we're trying to survive through week three. What's been your favorite memory so far? The fact that we're playing. <laughs> the fact that we're back playing and we're just trying to keep this going through the end of the year. What have been some of the hurdles and how do you hope to try to get through those at the end of the season with the cancellations and making up games? No, and I think the problem, Chili, what we're finding is the, the cases that we do have are not from within the team or, or the games or practice. It's from outside that's bringing it in. So again, follow the mitigation and follow the modifications even outside. Coaches and, and the teams are doing a great job, uh, but kids, you, you gotta you gotta mask up and do it all the time so that you can continue to play hey families student bodies everybody always says they want to be a part of the team this is how you do it how you do mask it. up just, just it. like grandpa Hines here <laughs> <laughs> Thompson looks the part, man. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I really love falling in love with them, and I apologize that I haven't seen him or given him more love sooner. Shame. He's the real deal. Shame. Shame. Shame me. Shame. Hey, my man Trotter with a nice interception. Game's getting serious. Mesquite trying to turn the heat up. Uh, 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 
Six to seven. I did not expect to see ALA Queen Creek grinding down Mesquite <laughs> like this. I think Logan Hubler opens this up in the second half. And man, if we can get those type of fireworks and those type of highlights, it's just gonna make everything better, man. Like Fourth of July. I expect it to be in this class. This is this is uh, you see, you know, a little bit. They're about to call the Philly Philly so you can get a receiving touchdown, too. Woo There's going to be 94% of the game play. Oh, he's open. Good. Good pass. Logan Huber got that vertical game, trying to let you know. Thompson said those two touchdowns is cute, but watch me feel out on yeah, this one. Let me match that. <laughs> my man Logan talking about let me get my guys in the end zone. ourselves a, uh, a ball game. <laughs> oh. If there's any question. No question. <laughs> My man Kevin McCabe asking me, how, how come they're running the ball? Because you leave Ty with zero seconds left to work with. Zero seconds. My man can cook up an omelet in one second, just so you know. A western omelet with like bacon and some ham and some cheese and everything. Hey, it. That last one had everything on it, just so you know. <laughs> with salsa. Y'all gotta stop. My young 2022 gunner over here, Logan Hubler. Hello. He left 34 seconds on the clock. That, that, know, that, might, that might be a problem. I know. That might be a problem. <laughs> Bro, it's chicken and waffles, my guy. Like, hey man, don't get any better than that on Friday night. The only problem is we having a problem with this little gate here. Hey man, a single bound, chili jump over this. Dude, I'm gonna jump over this like Trey Mosier. <laughs> hey, my man went Soldier Boy and had the Superman in that. But on the real, the chicken and waffles wasn't bad. It was a little pricey considering we had a high school football game, but I'm not mad at them. Y'all don't know the deal. My young flamethrower right here. 
My guy about that action. 34 to 28. They lighten the scoreboard up like a Christmas tree. That's right. We've mentioned a lot of holidays so far. Fourth of July. Fourth of July, Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. It is what it is. They sure go for a hundred total. A hundred. They want them treats like Halloween. <laughs> On the kilometer, the three touchdowns. Thompson throws hard, man. He said, give me that crown. Hey, man. Damn, man. he took it, man. <laughs> this is where you put that crown on in the fourth quarter. Big fumble. Hey, they're getting loud over here too. Yo, give me that king of the games. I need that king of the game too. So we got not one, not two, not three. <laughs> my, my man gonna sleep on Sunday. Yo, this is our second straight week with a 60 burger. 60 burger, man. This one's a little bit more competitive though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one had some like fries on the side, so. <laughs>
I'm a quarterback a dog, though. Hey, man, he's... Logan Hewler, you're not going to play my man Logan. You're not going to play my man Logan. Yeah, he got hit with that hit stick on the sideline, man. Flags going everywhere. He, he bounced back up and delivered a touchdown. Now, you hit them with that uh, Randy Moss move in the end zone. Is that how you drew it up? Oh, that's exactly how we drew it up. Uh, we ran that play act every day about 10 times, slowed down around 10 yards and speed back up. Ty took the defensive eyes off the ball and I made a great catch. For the rest of the season, I know that you're trying to make a movie and stuff like that. So like, uh, what can we expect from y'all? Rest of the season, it, like you said, it's going to be a movie. Uh, Ty's going to go do great things at Oregon. We're going to restack next year, but to finish this year, we're going to go win state again. That's it. What's your favorite class? Favorite class? Uh, yikes. Uh, a non shout out related. Shout out Miss Forcey, you're the GOAT, all right? Hey man, you had a bunch of highlights tonight. You peeled out with the one run and yes, then you sir. hit him with the Randy Moss uh, touchdown. Which one was your favorite highlight of the night? Um, I think just the highlight of the night was the W. I'm really proud of the team, you know, really, really happy with the, with the success we've had. So I'm just, I'm just proud of the W. Was there any thought about like, hey, they're a state champion, we're a state champion, you know, we got to set the tone, we got to let everybody know exactly where we stand, especially coming off that Sunrise loss? Yeah, obviously they're a great team. They're a state champion in 3A. They're coming up um, with a little chip on their shoulder, and I'm really, really excited with how they played. Um, it, was, it was a good challenge for us. Um, I'm, I'm more excited with how we played and, you know, fought back in the second half. All right, and obviously, you know, you're committed to Oregon. Are you more excited to have Graham and Jonah blocking for you or that you don't have to run away from Brandon Buckner? <laughs> um, both. You know, Bram and Jonah are, are, are great offensive linemen, and, and, jo er, and Brandon's definitely going to make me make me pay for it and get me better in, in practice. So I'm really excited to, to meet up with them. What do you have to go get to eat now after this huge victory? Definitely some Chipotle. I'm on the way there right now. Man, yeah. What's the experience been like uh, playing with you know Oregon commit Ty mm -hmm. Thompson? It's been great. You could like you can run as far as you want, as far as you want, as fast as you can. The ball's going to be right there. What's your favorite class right now? Um. I have to say culinary. Yeah? Yeah. So you be messing around, you be cooking it up like yeah. you be doing on the field. Cooking and eating. So hey, I like do. you cooking them corners. Yeah. <laughs> Need a cornerback omelet. <laughs> I told, I told